Hi everybody, Beliver911 here once again with an RPG Maker XP tutorial. This time I'm going to be doing set event location. So, let's start off. I'll use Bob here. Set event location. So there are a few things you can do with this. Mostly set event location is used for instantly teleporting an event to a new spot. You can do this with um, set move route, but if you're only using this to teleport an event to a new spot, this is what you're going to use. So, first thing that I'll show you on this is direct appointment. So, I have this set to this event, so it's pertaining to Bob. I could have it set to Bob, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter, so I'll keep it on this event. I'll have... Okay, direct appointment sets a certain square where he's going to be teleported to, where this event is going to move to. So I'll have him right in front of the tent. I'll have retain direction on and action button on, so when I talk to him, he'll move there. So, okay. So I talk to him and he teleports right in front of the... he'll teleport right in front of the tent. Now, I'll show you that since I have retained direction on, when I talk to him from a different direction, he turns towards me and then teleports retaining the direction. So, that's why he's facing toward the right now. Now, I know a few people who want um, they were trying to figure this out for a while, and they didn't want... When you talk to an NPC, they turn toward you and then turn back to their default position. I know some people that didn't want that. They wanted them to retain their position, so... If you have them in one spot, and you um, have them teleport to that same spot, but you have retained direction on then when you talk to them, they don't, um, they don't go back to their default position, really. So yeah, that's how that works. I hope you find that useful. So, let me show you the next part of this. I have a point with variables. Now, as you know, variables have different amounts. You can change them in-game, or you can have them set so, I'll need to... See, I'll just get rid of that. So, this variable right here, I'll need to set it. I'll put it on parallel process, so it automatically happens. If you don't know how to use variables, go and watch my switches, variables, and self switches tutorial. You'll learn a lot. So, control variables, I'll have it set to 1. And parallel process is on. So, now, what this is saying is map x is going to be the value of variable 1, which is set to 1, and map y is set to 1. And what, what this is, map uh, x and map y are coordinates. So, the upper left corner right here, right there, is 0, 0. Um, x coordinates move to your right as they grow, and y coordinates move downward as they grow. So, um, x1 is right there, y1 is right there. So if you go x1, which is 1 to the right, and y1, which is 1 down, that's where he's going to end up. And I'll show you what that looks like. Talk to him, and that's where he ends up. So, the next part of this, done with variables you can exchange with another event. So, I'll need another event. We'll have it exchange. Let's see. I'll have exchange with this girl right here. And so, you have it exchange with that event. I just created a new event, so I know it has, it's the newest one. Um, so that's event 5. When I talk to him, 
he'll exchange with it. So I talk with him, and he switches with it. Talk with it again, switches with it again. I don't have her set to anything, but I could have, um, I could set the same thing for her. So. But that's how that works. And sorry about the noise. This is a really cheap mic. I'm having problems with it. But you don't even have to have a graphic. You could just have him teleport around when you talk to him. So if you don't have a graphic, this is what it's going to look like. Teleports. Talk to him and he teleports. Talk to him again, he teleports. Talk to him again, he teleports. So yeah, just to show some other things you can do with it. Now, if you want things to move around, let's say, let's find an object. Some kind of object. Support. What do we have here? Um, we'll use this. Why not? We'll use the knight here. Let's say you want that. So this is event 6. You can rename them as you please. We'll have our knight switch with the bishop. Why not? So that's event 6 and second, 7. So when you talk to Bob, we'll have it You don't have to have it pertaining to the event you're using, so I'll change it off of this event. We'll have event 6 switch with event 7 wh when you talk to Bob. And I'll just go ahead and show you what that looks like. You talk to him, and they switch. Now they keep switching when you talk to him. I keep hitting the uh, action button, just so you know. They're not doing that automatically. You don't need anything, you don't need any of them to talk. You don't need to talk to anyone for this to happen. So, I'll have this set to parallel process, so I'll show you what I can do with this. We'll go to set event location, we'll use this event. So, this is event 6, and exchange with another event, we'll do 7. And then we'll wait. If you don't know any of these commands, go see my other tutorials. You learn a lot. We'll scale this down. We'll have it to five frames. That's a good amount. And so, action button. So this will cycle within itself because it's on parallel process. So it'll keep happening over and over again. So this will happen automatically. Now you can put switches on this. You don't have to have. You don't need to have it happen automatically, but this is what it does. You don't need to talk to anything, they're just switching. There you go. That is my set mover tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, if you have any ideas for future tutorials, I've already had one, um, which I appreciate. Dr. John Vargas, his YouTube name account. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate messages. So, comment on my videos. Tell me if I'm doing a good job. If not, give me suggestions. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.